Is there an underwater UFO base located in the Black Sea near Ukraine and Russia? Is there something more to the Black Sea? Why are these blocks? Why are this why is this area in the middle of the Black Sea blocked off? Okay, why is it? Um, because I, I came across this um, time lapse thing, this other map, online map, and um, this area has blocks in it. Okay, and this one right here, what is going on with the Black Sea? This it says the Black Sea, that's a Google Maps. Google Earth, uh, but on a different map, this area right in the center of the Black Sea has strange um, partitions right in the center and I'm wondering I really am wondering uh, is that a UFO base now we've heard rumors we have rumors of pyramids being found uh, in Ukraine uh, there's been pictures documentation of UFOs uh, documented flying near the Black Sea. Okay, we've got the Black Sea, and we don't personally, there's the Black Sea Fleet. Um, you know, in the Lord of the Rings, there's also a Black Fleet uh, that's supposed to be a really bad one, uh, but then it gets taken over. Um, and uh, it turns out for the better. Okay, it does. But in the middle of the Black Sea, why is that anomaly there? Um, so let me come over here. That's what I want to know. Why is the anomaly there? Let me let you see this, you all. Yeah, hello, J. Joslyn. Let me put this right here, you all. Let me um, live chat. We're going to live chat, you all. We are. Uh, and it's okay. So, boom. We don't have very many people allowed in the comment section. I know that there's a lot of people that want to get in the comment section, but they're not really uh, being allowed. Hello, uh, Ad Adelaida, Adelaida Gonzalez. Hello, everybody. So, um, yeah, I want to talk about that Black Sea, the Black Sea anomaly. Like, they, look at this. I want you to look at this. Why is that like this? Okay. First of all, I better get over here and have this thing pulled up because sometimes when I push the button, it doesn't work. Okay, it really doesn't work. And I want to make sure it works when I'm over here. Okay, just want to make sure it works for us, you all. I do. I want you all to see everything that you can see. Perfect. This is perfect, you all. This is absolutely perfect. So we can do this. We can ask ourselves, why? Why does that map look like that? What's going on over there, really? Because this is one map right here. This is one map. And then this, let me find that. This right here is Google Earth. This is Google Earth. There's no anomaly at Google Earth. Okay, and it's the Black Sea. Okay, there's Ukraine up there. Or you see Ukraine up, Ukraine up there. You know, it's also, you know, it's got Georgia, Armenia, Turkey, Bulgaria, Istanbul, Romania, yeah, we got all this going on. Where is Russia? Um, I don't know where Russia is. It doesn't matter at this point. It really doesn't. Um, so that's Ukraine. This is the Black Sea. It's located new, near Ukraine. And there's always been squabbles over it. There really has. And um, if we were to go to this map, look at this. Why? If I didn't know any better... I would think that there is something located here or else this right here would not show up. This is like a time lapse right here, you all. This is like a time lapse that I had found is what happened. I found this time lapse. And um, let's look at this for a second. I want to see. I want to. Okay, look. 2020. Okay, there is no shadow there in 2020, but there's this right here. Let me put myself up here in this corner. So um, let's go back. Let's go all the way back and let's look at this. You all. Let's go back to wherever it will let us go back to. 
Um, I want to see if we can. You all really do. Okay, 1984. Why did they choose 1984? I think that's a really good question. See, in 1984, this is supposed to be a time lapse. Look at this. It has, look at this area right here. It has this shadowed right here in 1984. This is 1985. Get, let me get it all in here for you all to see it. 1985. Let me shrink it down just a tad bit because we don't want to get all the black sea in here. 1986. It's still there. 87. 88. 89. This is the changes, a time lapse of areas all across the United, not the United States, all across the Earth. Okay, this is what this is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, what did I see down here? I think I saw something. Yes, we did. We saw something. Right down here. Look at these areas, you all. What is going on under the water? Can you see this? If this was satellite imagery, it picked up something under the water. Look how it's partitioned off in great big rectangles. Okay, look at that. Um... I know that they're capable of building um, building under sea, underwater. There is um, intelligent beings, okay, and it it is rumored, okay, it's rumored that UFOs go into the ocean. There's people been sighting them going into the ocean. There's been documentation, pictures of UFO ships, massive ships going down into certain oceans and certain seas around the Earth, okay. And there's been talk of underwater bases. And there's talk of a civilization that lives underwater. Of course, 80% of the Earth's oceans has not been, has not been um, studied. Look, oopsie. Can, can you get off of there, you all? Because we want to get that. Now I did it. Why'd they do that to me? Okay, we got that, you all. We got it going. Yeah, how Orwellian. Okay, you all, I'm trying to get this here for you all so you can see it. I really I really want to see it. I want you all to see it too. You all, I'm getting ready to have a hot flash. I really am. So that's 1995. I was wondering, what am I going to share? Okay, and I was just sitting here looking at the ISWA. And then this, I remembered I had this downloaded. Okay, that's what I remember. It was downloaded. So if we look up close, we can see it. Okay, let's see that area. I want to see if it goes away. Okay, no, they got more. They got more, you all. They did. Look at that. One, two. This, this is strange. It really is strange. Look at that. It became more accentuated. And then it disappeared. Okay, it disappeared. And then what's that? So let's look at this. I, I got to quit pushing the buttons, you all. I really do because um, it messes up when I push the buttons. So I'm, I better just leave it at one, one thing. Okay. Hello. I hope you're all doing good. And thank you for coming on here, you all. Uh, because um, I don't know where we're going to end up. But I, I'm thinking there's something going on with this Black Sea. I really do think there is something going on with this Black Sea. And uh, when I looked at these, uh, this time lapse, there were only a very few, there was only a very few places on Earth that had something in the ocean areas okay there was just only a very can you all hear me just fine i hope you can kelly honey i am so sorry but um we should um ask uh, google youtube moderators google moderators please send out the notifications to this youtube channel we're trying to document important things like ufos we really are and um, UFO bases that are underwater. This information has got to get out. Please send out the notifications to the people who are subscri subscribed on this channel. Thank you. Um, yeah, so um, let's look at this shoe. i got to get the buttons pushed. As long as somebody don't push my buttons. <laughs> don't push my buttons. You get me wound up. But I think they like me to get wound up. I really think somebody does. They like to see Gina get all wound up. It um, stimulates them. <laughs> Oh, no. See, look at this. So we're looking up here at this area right here. See, this is underwater. And I know it's not just a ship set there. I think there's something, something under the water. I really do. Because it disappears. Yeah. 
Oh, we got this. We have got this. We're in 2012. This is when the end of the world was supposed to happen, you all. In 2012, the end of the Mayan calendar, okay, the end of the Mayan calendar, and we thought the world was going to end. We did. <laughs> but here we are in 2022, and the world hasn't ended. It hasn't, but there's something going. Okay, it disappeared. Did you see that? This area right here disappeared. Right there. What happened? Okay. See, and look at the change that happened here, too. It disappeared. Okay, now we still got this block. This block, okay, now it came back 2015. Now we got some more blocks. It disappeared. The main thing that has stayed, okay, now it's came back, is this blue. Okay, we're going all the way up to 2016. 2017, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, and this is in the middle of the Black Sea. It is in the Black Sea, and Google Earth, if you're just tuning in, Google Earth ain't showing nothing like that. It's not, but on this particular time lapse, it's showing it, and then look over here. Let's come right over here to this area, so all we had to do is come over here to the Caspian Sea. Um, Okay, we're still on here, you all. We are. To the Caspian Sea. Can you all, can I do something really fast? Let me do this. I don't like the way this is um, making me look like this. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you all. I'm going to put it back to me. It's okay. Um, I thought I could change something, but it's, it doesn't need changed. Okay, so we're at the Caspian Sea. Okay, this is fine. This, there's nothing here. It's outside of Turkmenistan. Um, it's okay. Uzbekistan, Georgia, Azerbaijan. Okay, Caspian Sea. Look at it. There's nothing there. But when we come over here, there's something there, you all. There's something there. And you know what's interesting with this right here? These are the same size as these. Okay, they are. Is there something in the water? Are there bases in the water, you all? Is there? Let's um, let's look at this. Let's go backwards. We're going to go. What happened? Going to go backwards, you all. Let's see what happens. Because I, I haven't really checked it. Oh, 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 wait. Okay, did it get more gray up here? What is that? I wonder what that is. You think that's um, trying to see why that would look like that, you all. Really, why does that look like that? See? Isn't that strange? It really is strange. Okay, you all. I know that you. some people may not find this um, interesting. They think, Gina, what are you talking about? I'm talking about these anomalies on this different type of a map. Why those are located. And I didn't find any reason why they were located in there. I did not find any reasons at all. I'm just trying to go back. And I want you all to look at this because it's not supposed to have them in here. But it does. This particular. And it's a time lapse is what it is a time lapse we're going backwards can you all see the uh, dates on the bottom also oh it got skinnier did it get skinnier no it didn't it didn't get um yeah oh i am gonna go i want to see um why this strange anomaly is showing up here It's 2003, 2002, 2000, 1999, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, 88, or 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84. It stops at 84. What is that? Well, it's a, just a strip of land right there, a piece of, piece of sea. See, this is what they look like. I don't think that there's anything. Why does it look like that? 
I don't think that there's uh, any massive floating thing out there. Do you think there's something massive floating out there? Because now we got the Black Sea, we got the Caspian Sea, and we've got Google Earth saying, okay, well, I'm not showing nothing in these areas. That's what Google Earth is saying. I'm not showing nothing in these areas at all, and it's not. Let's shrink down. Okay. Oh, this is, see, that's Google Earth. Let's shrink down, you all. And let's come over here to, um, where are we at? i got to concentrate. Let's shrink down. Now let's, get you, can you please hop off of there? I'd like to, um like to go to 1984 okay so let's hop over here to the Mediterranean I think this is oh look at this look at this area right here it looks like it's cornered off I wonder why it's cornered off like that because uh, it's not in Google Earth but let's over here to the Mediterranean let's see what we can see is the volume okay in here because I'm I'm just wondering uh, if it is because it was kind of messed up this morning. Now the Mediterranean, the only thing it has is like um, this right here. But how long has it had this right here in the Mediterranean? Okay. How long has it had this? And how long has this area had that? Let's look. Let's see through the time lapse to see um, if it changes any at all. It, if it's been here the whole time, that that would be interesting you all it really would be because I don't know why that would be there like that I really don't that's 20 2004 right here it's like it's established boundaries it really if that's what it, it that's what it seems like to me it's what's established boundaries you don't go in that area you don't go in that area because it's um it doesn't belong to you perhaps it doesn't you all right there so and if we look on google earth there's nothing there nothing um you have the um tyrrhenian sea you have cyprus malta alexandria israel lebanon turkey athens all of that is what you've got let's um it, portals well portals um there's portals everywhere there really is portals everywhere let's see see we're gonna look and see because I was doing this and I was thinking why why do some areas have it see what's what's right here let's let's see what this area is let's go to Google Earth um this is like a classroom you are it really is I feel like um we're in school so um this is France Gina, that's the wrong button. Thank you. No, that's the wrong button. I'm sorry, you all. Dash, come on now. I'm getting, I got to concentrate. Did I close out my Google Earth? Okay, so that's France. Where is it located? It's located in this water area. And I, I don't know the name of the water. Does somebody know the name of that water that that is at? Let me see if we can find it. Is it the Atlantic Ocean? Because it's not telling me what the name of this is right here. Anyhow, it's uh, off the coast of France is what it is. Yeah, it's off the coast of France. And um, we've got this right here. This area right here. So let's look at this. So let's go back to 1984. Oh, you see they had some more shades of stuff happening. Uh, let's look at this. Wait, 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 what, what was that? Did I go too fast? And um, I thought I saw something show up right there. I really thought I did. Maybe they messed up. Now I understand, you know, this is just graphic CGI. Kind of like it, but it's supposed to be a time lapse. That's what they were supposed to do, a time lapse of... Um, earth that area must be off limits and if you think about this area it is in the middle directly in the middle from this um, edge of a country uh, landmass it's in the middle at the edges of the landmass so there's got to be something to it 
Now, are we reading, Gina, are you reading too much into something? Well, I don't know, but I think it looks very funny to me. It looks kind of strange and odd that you can find those uh, in only in certain locations. That's what I'm saying. It's only in certain locations and and why. So it's right here in the Black Sea, it's in the Mediterranean, and it's in the Caspian Sea right here. The Caspian Sea. Let's look at it. See, now we know where the Caspian Sea is located right here. So um, let's go over here, you all. This is interesting because this is the first time I've sat down. I, I just found and stumbled upon this map. I don't even know how I did it, you all. It just popped up in, I don't even know what I was searching for, and it just popped up. And I thought, how did that pop up? But I thought, well, that looks interesting. It's a time lapse. And that's how that happened, just like that. Just, I don't know how it happened, but that's how it happened. So let's come over here. So um, let's, let's put you back to 1984. Let's shrink it down, you all, because these areas, see, there's, there's nothing right here. Let's see what that area would be right there. Um, the Red Sea. There's nothing in the Red Sea at all. Are we on there? Is it letting you all see? There's nothing in the Red Sea, as we can see. Nothing there is showing up. Not, I don't think there is. Let's look. We might overlook something. I don't see anything right now. Just like a, kind of like a square right there. A square anomaly. But that Red Sea, I don't think would be that deep. Okay, I really don't. Let's see. Um, we can still do this. See if there's anything that shows up in the Red Sea. Okay. it. Uh, did I see a triangle? Yeah, we saw like a triangle. Almost like a... No, there's like something right here. There's something vaguely that got right there. Oh, that's about it. Oh, what's all that? Did it dry up? Did the water get low? Did it? Did the the water get low in 2017 in the Red Sea? Because this looks kind of dark, and then it's got some shallow areas. But then these areas are stop that. Then these areas are. I got a strange shape right here like that. Oh well, that's okay, you all. So this is near, what's the Red Sea near? Um, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, uh, Eritrea, it, Eritrea, Sudan, okay, Djibouti, the Gulf of Aden. We've heard that the Gulf and Yemen, the Gulf of Aden and Yemen. Let's see if there's anything there. Well, this whole area is like, um, it's solid blue. Totally solid blue. There's not much more that we can see, but we can try to um, look at that area. They had a square there, and I, I went up too close. Let's go to 1984. Okay, that's that's good. 1984, and s is that a triangle right there? Um, I don't know. Let's look at this. I hope this is all right because we want to see if there's anything different, especially this because you know you have the Somalian Somalian pirates, um, and they had to send all the battleships over there to guard their precious uh, cargo because they were. The pirates were getting onto the ships. They were, and they had to protect their cargo because of the Somalian pirates. Um, okay, I don't really see anything, although a wormhole, um, a portal was supposed to have opened up in this area, I think, in the Gulf of Aden. Let's see what happened. This is 2017. It looks a little different. Let's see this. Um, Gulf of Aden. Anomaly. Anomaly. 2017. 
Was there one? No, that's 2010. Uh, they have a gulf of Adon magnetic anomaly exposed. Earth's magnetic field um, in the gulf of Adon. Okay, well, no, I wasn't talking about that. I just wanted to know if something happened in the year 2017. No, they, all they did was... Um, Oh, they reviewed um, security stuff in the GOP, uh, January the 13th of 2017. Uh, U.S. CENTCOM targeting the militants. What if you all, really, what if it wasn't really these people? What if it was UFO activity that was happening over there? Really, what if it was water depth anomaly? You all can we look at that too? Water depth anomaly in the Gulf of Aden. Um, it's rifted continental margins, oceanic crust adjacent to the continental rift margins shows anomalous water depth, bathymetry, and subsidence of history compared to predictions of the lithosphere. Um, mundane explanations, um, thin continental crust. The Gulf of Aden was used. Um, for seafood and all that. Okay, you all, that's all. I think we, we looked enough about the Gulf of Aden. Um, we did. Let's look at this. Um, yeah, let's let's come back over here. We're going back into the Gulf of Aden, or Aden, however you would want to say it. Okay, so now they got some more. I would really like to know when that anomaly showed up. Can we, I want to, I know that there was something that showed up, an anom uh, spiral over the Gulf. Was it the Gulf of Aden? I didn't look at this. Um, okay, let's see this. Um, let's see. We got the Horn of Africa. Okay, when did this happen? Is this in a persistent blue spiral? Oh, that's the Gulf of um, Oman. The Gulf of Oman. Uh, where's that at? Where is the Gulf of Oman? I thought it was um, the Gulf of Aden, but I guess it's not. Yeah, it is right up there. The Gulf of Aden uh, with this persistent blue anomaly. Uh, Modus Web. Let's, uh, I know that this didn't come here. Okay, it didn't. What, you, what is this? Um, Navy ships around the Stargate. Okay, that's what it was. A Stargate in the, I know I can't click into that. I'm not going to do it. In the Gulf of Aden. Okay, there was a Stargate. Okay, that's fine. Look at this. Angry Bird Stargate in the Gulf of Aden. Look, there's these long rectangular things that we were looking at. Okay, I think we looked at that enough. You think we did? With the um, Gulf of Aden. It's kind of weird looking. Look at that. Just like that. Yeah, so... um. We'll go back here, you all. I'm sorry. I got off on the wrong track. So I really didn't see much of anything in the Gulf of Aden. I'm supposed to be over here on this one. Okay, we didn't really see much uh, over here. Let's shrink it down because there could be some other things. But there really was not very much um, blocks that could be seen anywhere else. Maybe in the ocean. Maybe, but um, I don't know. If we come over here to um, South America, there's nothing over here going on either. Nothing over here at all, except maybe, maybe something right here. Um, let's see. If we were to come over here to, um, right in this area. Cara the Caribbean Sea. Okay, that's where the pirates were. The pirates were in the Caribbean. Remember that? Uh, yeah, so the Caribbean. So let's look in the Caribbean. Okay, we got some straight edges right here. We got like a great big long rectangular area. This is the Caribbean area. Let's look at this, you all. So we're trying, we're looking at a time lapse that was put together and it, it shows a lot of things. It really does. And we're just trying to see if we can see any strange anomalies that have taken place in this area. We're in 2009. There's not much 
different things going on. You know, except this area right here. Look how it's almost like a great big gigantic rectangle itself. Like a gigantic square. Um, it's 2017. 2018, 19, 2020. Okay, there was nothing else going on there. Nothing. Uh, there's no strange... This get, Could you just quit moving on us? Nothing strange here in the United States. Except if we come over here, you all think there was something over here off the coast. There was something over here off the coast, I think, when I was um, in 1984. I thought I saw something over here. Let's see if we can, as we go through the time lapse, unless I can push it. No, I don't see anything. Okay, that's that's 2020, you all. So there's nothing going on strange. See, the map ends right here. We can't go any further over here. But I wonder, I wonder what that is. What is this up here, you all? What's this area right here? Let's look up here. There's... um above. See, there's nothing up here that's out of the ordinary at all. There isn't. You all, it, it did it to me again. I'm sorry. It did it to me again. It didn't push the button on me. Or maybe I was just go, so caught up in what I was doing that I just wasn't paying attention. Although I, I pushed it. I pushed it again just now. I really did. So, um, I hope this is back on the screen. I really do. Because I'm looking at myself on here. And, um, okay, now I'm seeing it. I pushed this thing two times uh, to see if we could find some more anomalies. And um, it didn't It didn't find it. There's nothing up here. Nothing at all. I don't think there is. There should be something, but there's not. There's like rumors of something in this area up here. Maybe... Um, why did that happen like that? That is, um, let's find out what that is right there. Is this Lake Michigan? This is Lake Michigan right here. If you're in Lake Michigan, let's check out Lake Michigan. Okay, so in 1984, so did you see that move? Okay, let's look at this at Lake Michigan. You know, there's like a, a long streak of something right here. But that's okay. That's that's the land. Okay, there's... Stop that. And we're supposed to look at this. 1987. Okay, I'm going to shrink it down. I, I can't be getting too close because it messes it up. Um... It's Lake Michigan. And I think there's been things happening there, too. If there's something happening down there, you all, we can't see it. Because the water is so deep. Yeah, okay, we can't see it. There was nothing up here in Canada, nothing at all, but it's looks like um, the areas that are have something in them are over here this area right here which is um, let's find out where that at that area is right there uh, let's come over here and look at it shrink you down how did I flip that upside down you know, I gotta get that straightened out um, okay, we got it. I'm just going to come over here very carefully and straighten it up. So this area, I don't know, is that, was that you, the United Kingdom? So this area right here. So let's go to the Google map. Is 
it's not exactly the same, but it's uh, near London. Imagine that. Imagine that near London. Right, right in this area. I think it's right in this area. Right there in the North Sea. Is that what we're looking at? The North Sea? I think we are. So the North Sea has one of those things right there above it. It's, I guess it is. I can't hardly see it, you all, because these, these clouds are getting in my way. Yeah. You all, I'm not good at geography at all. I'm not. <laughs> I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see where it's at, and I can't. You can't see, <laughs> see where it's at. All I know, you know, what if, what if there is something to this right here? What if there is? What if there is something right there? Because it really does look like a massive triangular shape. Let's go to 1984 and see what happens. Because I don't think that goes away. Whatever that is, it's not going away. Let's push the play button. Why wouldn't why won't it go away? Is what I'm wondering. Why won't it? And again, we're looking at a time lapse. Wait, I just saw something. Saw something over here. But I gotta wait till it gets when it gets back to something. I'm gonna sh I think I've seen something show up in the desert. That I did. It was going rather fast. It was a It won't show up. I thought I saw something right here. Okay, so these are the only areas you are right here. Right here in the Black Sea, we got this anomaly. There and it's 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 dead center. See, this is really interesting if you think about it. Why is this staggered? Why is it staggered like that? And why does it have, it, it looks like an underground base underwater is what it looks like, you all, it really does, in, at the Black Sea. And over here at the Caspian Sea, why are these setting there? Okay, that's the question, why? Because these two areas, was, is there UFOs in the Caspian Sea? Because this is something uh, in the Caspian Sea. Okay, look at this. The Soviet Spitsnaz Marine Special Forces encounter aliens and UFOs in the Caspian Sea. Did you see that? I think we're on to something. I really think we're on to something, you I do. In the Caspian Sea. Look at this. So, Soviet Spetsnaz Marine Special Forces encountered aliens and UFOs on the Caspian Sea. I'm a researcher on the history of the armed forces of the Russian Empire, the USSR, and now Russian Federation, and their encounters with UFOs and USOs. In the 1970s, an interesting encounter was witnessed by members of the Marine Spetsnaz, the Soviet Marine. You are less click into it. Look, this is 525. This was just written. This article was just written. This is really good, you always we're finding stuff. Let's open this up in a new tab because this is um this is woo this looks really look May the nineteenth of twenty twenty two the Caspian Sea Captain First Rank Vi Vitaly Pashitz, the author of Padvadni Spetsnaz Rasila Rasia or Underwater Spetsnaz of Russia, a nonfiction book about the history of the Soviet Special Forces. Um, he was present at the start of the Soviet Navy Special Forces, the long path of formation, and the um, they did reconnaissance divers. Military reconnaissance divers operated in almost all the seas and oceans on the Earth. You, I hope that this is all right, because this is great. This is good. Um... The secret unit under the command of Vitality Pashitz 
was located next to Baku Naval School, which many years has been the center of education of the elite armies of Africa and the Middle East. Cadets from 32 countries of the Arab world, Cuba, Cuba, Latin American countries, as well as the Warsaw Pact. Bulgaria, East Germany, trained in the military unit, became officers, commanders, special forces in their homeland. Five German citizens of Russia served in the unit. We got German settlements of Kazakhstan after the collapse of the Soviet Union, okay? So, um, while Pashitz was known with USSR, within the USSR, he and his unit and their encounters with UFOs and USOs What's a USO? And aliens were unknown to the outside world. Well, I, I didn't know about it. I didn't. Um, before assuming the command, he was one of the most authoritative specialists in Marine Special Forces of the USSR. He participated in the Victory Parade on Red Square after graduating. Um, so let's look at this, you all. In 1969, General Staff of the Navy entrusted him with the Creation Unit for Training Special Forces in the so-called Friendly Countries, uh, on locating in the Caspian Sea next to the Caspian Higher Military Command College. So look, they got the Russian Federation. Um, the Caspian Coast was perfectly well pro and proved its advantage over the Black Sea. Okay, so get the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. Um, in the seven, 1979, so they got these um, sailors. In 83, after the collapse, okay, they got the submarines. And before, let's see if we can find something about it. They do in their marine reconnaissance. Um, here is Captain Pashit's um, account of his own UFO and extraterrestrial encounters, as well as some of the others which occurred around the world. Um, you off, you're just tuning in. Yeah, around, okay, underwater submerged object. Thank you, Dennis. I never heard of that before. Okay, thank you. That's a really good, that's okay. Great awakening, honey. You got to go. Okay, in Denmark. Well, we went to Lake Michigan, and we didn't find no anomalies there. So, during the entire um, existence of the Special Forces Unit in the Caspian Sea, um, they did a lot of work to maintain reconnaissance groups. Okay, they did. Uh, to excellent climatic conditions of the Caspian Sea Theater allowed us to conduct training all year. Um, so let's see what they did. Uh, the temperature. In July of 1976, I was unexpectedly called at night to a flotilla headquarters where the task to immediately begin examining an underwater part of a large island, Kera Adara, Ara, in the entrance of the port because a detection of an underwater base which could be used by sub small submarines like those of Iran. So they wanted to check it out. So there is one in Iran, an Italian, five times 404, whatever that is, you all. So they got this right here. We, I want to get to the UFOs. I really do want to get to them. Oh, it's taking it too long. You got, he's got, okay, this is better, you all. Now we got a, we, now we got an alien. We got an extraterrestrial. So at least we got this far, you all. We do, we got this far. Um, so I hope the reader has not yet had the idea that the author of the notes in this declining years has fallen into fantasy. Um, this is the truth. In a world, our preparations were brief. Okay, they were brief. Okay, let's look at this. So, a bright dot was approaching us from the depths of the universe, and everyone on the bridge felt some kind of depressed state. Okay, do you all just get this? Everyone on the ship, when they saw a bright dot approaching them from the depths of the universe, everyone on the bridge felt some kind of a depressed state. They were depressed within their being, is what they were, as... This thing approached, and the helmsman noticed that the magnetic compass was agitating all this time, and the compass card was clearly restless, but with the disappearance of the point, it calmed down. Later, they checked the compass, and they did not differ from the tabular ones. Um, the gyro compass behaved normally, okay? So they saw something... Um, See if they saw something in the sky. I don't know. We got it, but they're in the Caspian Sea. They t they say they saw a UFO. Okay, let's see. 
Um, they got the commanders there. They read a message. Um, yeah, that's that's so much information. I can't read it all. It's draining me. It really is. The saucer, having had fun with the fighters, disappeared at an incredible sea. They launched air-to-air -air missiles, um, the jet fighters did, unsuccessfully um, to approach the saucer and realizing that this was impossible due to the speed of diff the speed difference. Um, they couldn't do it. Their missiles turned off when approaching the target and continued to fly in a straight line. Uh, so the flying saucer turned their missiles off. Okay, look at this. This is good. So in particular, in the report of the head of intelligence at the Pacific Fleet, Rear Admiral said it was a discovery of a huge UFO mothership and of and small saucers that took off from under the water on board of the mother ship and then dived again so they were underwater on the great big gigantic mother ship okay that's what they were um underwater mother ship you all so let's look at this they got it going um oh wow when i said the word they froze me why they want to freeze me and there's no reason to freeze me you all they just like to now how, how can we have a chat rate of six you all? i just want to come back over here because i want to tell you i got excellent connection let's see this i don't know why they want to bring our chat rate down to six don't that's not right my chat rate was normally going my chat rate let me tell you about the chat rate it normally was staying at 38 on live videos and they've literally dropped it down to six that's wrong okay that's wrong that that's a telltale sign that they want they do not they don't want this information to get out at all somebody doesn't want the information to get out okay and by the way let me show you something by the way before I logged on before I even did anything there was already one person watching on the other end and it was not any of you all I had not even started my live video and there was somebody waiting, waiting. Something was waiting for me to come on here, you all. And they didn't even click like. So, yeah, that's what I'd like to say. Yeah, I know I'm at um, 298 in climbing, but you know what? The chat rate is an important thing and they want to keep it down. OK, it has to do with the algorithms, whether or not they uh, recommend your video for others to see so the information can get out um so that's what they're doing you all they knocking it down so anyhow we got the soviets uh there's something in the caspian sea where are we at right here right there this is the caspian sea there's they said there was a ufo mothership underwater and smaller ships flew off the mothership in the Caspian Sea that's what it did um, yeah so let's let's look at this so that was that one. Oh my gosh so what this is a this looks like it's an old book the Padvadni Spesnas Rasi Wow the people of the ancient world having named our planet earth did not imagine that it was three quarters occupied by the ocean which from time immemorial artifact attracts with its mystery and frightens um, with a formidable force three-fourths of it is um, with water um, yeah so let's that was that one you all yes uh, the Masons are watching. Well, they can watch. Okay, that that's their prerogative. Um, that's all right. I hope they're watching other people too. I'm sure they're watching everybody else. Everybody else gets the privilege of um, being in the spotlight too. They do. They love it. They love it. Okay, so we got this UF spiral over the Caspian Sea in Kazakh Kazakhstan on the 28th of January of 2021. And why are they in the Caspian Sea? Because, um, where are we at, Gina? you got to get your act together. Because we've got this in the Caspian Sea. This is underwater bases. Okay, that's what it is. Underwater bases, underwater bases, and they do not belong to 
humans on earth okay i just want to make that clear this uh, this is not belong to the the armies on the earth okay these right here were already there long 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 time ago long time ago right there and right there a long time ago and um yeah that's right just like that you are and that's really can you please stop that that's really the only two places one two that we have this occurring in these areas okay that one that area right there this this area um, this area and can you get off of there and this like triangle right there probably a great big vortex right here you know can you can you, I think triangles can form vortexes I think they can triangles form vortexes uh, vortexes yeah okay they can so look there energy vortexes okay that's what it is it's an energy vortex and it's located okay so there's a great big massive energy vortex located right here in this area uh, let's see where it is on the Google Maps uh, can you straighten this up Gina I'm trying to right here in this area oh like Gibraltar the R let's look at another C the Alboran Sea Alboran Sea and Seville Grenada so we have a great big vortex located in this area a great big triangle vortex uh, as you can see right here boom at least it looks like it's one and then we have something uh, underwater bases right here uh, and they don't belong to the earthlings they don't uh, at all so um, that's really interesting you all to see that um, we've got this activity spiral recorded east of the Caspian Sea the grave of the devil case um, 1991 tracked on radars so that's something going on you all and you know what the UFOs we're, we're probably we could be dealing with um, extraterrestrials um, alien life forms even though they're not alien they, they probably this probably is their home too there probably is their home it really is and they were probably here way before we were here okay they probably were hovering over the, uh, Alaska so we've got all that you I'm gonna put this back to me so we've seen the maps and I'm gonna get ready to end this video I am right there there's an anomaly there's something going on here in the Black Sea this is around the Ukraine area Russia area and the Caspian Sea okay there's underwater UFO bases and they don't show up on the Google Maps okay they're not showing up here where are we at can we get to them Gina yes we can right here there's no sign of any underwater bases right here but there is right here there is right here so um, I think I'm gonna go you I really do I'm gonna go and I want to thank you all for coming on here I really do let's um let's come over here really fast let's come over here and look at this um yeah I'm gonna go that's okay you all that's all right oh you're so welcome granny k but i'm just sorry it took so long it did take a long time to get through this you all but that's all right you all this is in, this is very important because you know they found that pyramid over there near ukraine and then the black sea is always something about that but then i didn't know about the caspian sea and then they found the ufos and all of that kind of stuff you all there's so much going on a lot of stuff going on yeah um, oh you're also welcome you know what we can um, let me let me do this for you I want to do this for you let's put it to the justice screen I'm going to um, copy this I'm gonna put it right down here you all as soon as I put it in here you might want to grab it in case it disappears you see it down here the earth engine Google time-lapse there you might want to grab that and um, save it 
save it in case it goes away um, is what you might want to do that way it's a good okay I like to think of things like this on the internet they're like a tool it's, you can stick it in your internet tool bag I like it I love tools I really do I like mechanics I like tools um, so this is like an internet tool and it's nice to have it really is yes so uh, I am gonna go you all let me put this back over here and so with that being said um, hello wherever you are in any part of the world hello from my heart to yours love you have a wonderful rest of your day you all and these are the only two areas they are they're the only two areas um, where the um, let me let me get it over here where these um, are showing up right there boom and you have to ask yourself why why okay I think there's something so much greater going on I really really do and we got a great big uh, energy vortex probably Oops, get off of there right there in that area energy vortex and put it back to me um, have a wonderful evening you all thank you so 